Yeah, at about uh, 10 30 this morning, uh, we did get reports that the, uh, the individual was located. Um, he was actually located by uh, a couple on horseback. Um, we found him in an area that was searched as recent as 8 o'clock last night, um, but that's where, uh, where he was eventually found. Uh, and again, can't stress enough, the area was searched multiple times yesterday, and, and I've spent the last three days trying to preach about the power of water and, and how much the lack of respect for it is. Um, but overnight, with the, the tide and the level receding, um, wherever the individual was stuck, probably came loose and then washed downstream. Chief Wood, how far are we from where he went into the... We, we were approximately a mile from where he went in or where the reports he was last seen on Saturday evening. I know that you've been talking the last few days. People haven't seen this, I'm sure, out there, but let's talk about this. And, uh, you know, a mile seems like quite a distance. Let's talk about the, the hazards out there. Let's revisit that. Well, I mean, just, just the power of water and, and the undertow and the hydraulics that, that the dynamic that goes in play at the end of this chute to just keep the individual underwater and then just think about it. You, there, there's rocks, there, there's, there's logs and sticks in the water that, that the, the current had to push, you know, had to push the individual past. It's, it's uh, you know, we were, I think we were all surprised that, the, you know, the body did go that far downstream. Um, but there just is a, a, an extreme underestimation of the power of, of a current, you know, and, and you see it all the time. We see it down here, unfortunately. You see it when people, you know, are on the, in their vehicles and try to go through an area of high water and the vehicles get swept away. It's something that I think there's a general lack of respect for, and I hope this is a message to, to parents and, and to kids that, that if you're not supposed to be in an area, don't go in an area. You know, no swimming signs or no trespassing signs aren't posted. Um, just because the metro parks or entities have nothing else to do with their time or their signs. You know, they're there for a reason. They're there for safety. This specific location has been a problem for you guys in years past, right? Have people gotten injured here before? We, we have had recoveries and rescues here before. Um, you know, I think the most recent one was six years ago, a nine-year-old girl, and it was the same thing. Went down that area of what we call the chute and got hung up in the undertow and, and didn't make it out. And, and so unfortunately, we're down here way too often. When we talked about, and Jessica you may have talked about this with Jess too earlier, but uh, it's just other than signs and warning people and making sure that they know the hazards, that they're informed of the hazards, there's no way to actually physically keep them out of that area. No, there, there is, you know, there, there's no way, you know, and I've seen, you know, on the social media postings, and, you know, why don't they put up a fence or why don't they drop some boulder? That, that's just an unrealistic answer to the problem. You, you know, it's, it's just not going to happen. It, you're out in nature. You can't. If somebody wants to make their way to the area, they're going to find a way to do it. Um, and, and, you know, we've, we've tried multiple outlets, social media, you know, talking to people through you folks. Um, and, and, and people just need to respect it. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, it's not the first time we've been down there and, and it's not going to be the last. Chief, your, your job is to, and your firefighters, the rescuers that are out here, your job is to try and, 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 and save lives. Uh, how difficult is it under these circumstances to know, uh, you know, what you're dealing with? Yeah, it, it's been, it, you know, it's, th that's the unfortunate part of the job is we're used to going in and making a difference within the first, you know, five minutes that we're there. And when you go into, you know, days worth of operations, um, it, it does become disheartening for, for the guys. Uh, and, and I mean, we've had guys out here uh, from the Bedford Fire Department. And again, I'd like to speak and thank, you know, members of the Hillcrest Technical Rescue Team and, and the Metro Parks Rangers and, and their specialized water guys and the, um, um, the CERT team from, from the west side uh, that, that assisted. I mean, we have multiple agencies working this with one goal in mind, but in these agencies, I've seen the same faces over the last three days. So there is that, uh, there is that dedication, I guess, that, hey, we know it's a recovery, but we want to bring closure to the family or for the family. You know what, that's, I, we have not really, we've dealt, in my capacity, I've dealt with the, the rescue and the recovery aspect of it. I don't really have any information about the individual, the family, that's all been handled on the, um, on the Metro Park Ranger side. Um, so they, you know, they handle that from their law enforcement, and now they're in investigative mode down there. Um, and, and, you know, he's talking to you folks, to our job here, you know, from the fire department and the rescue team aspect, um, you know, we're, we're basically uh, near the end of what, what we can do. Well, from that aspect, okay, you're okay. You stand there. You stand up. You're okay. Get a little closer. Like Chopper's low. I know you see a lot. Thank you. Fire chief. Talk about that a little bit. Just a 15-year-old. 
Yeah, it, and it's just it's just sad. I mean, it, it's unfortunate because that, that young man had you know years and years and years ahead of him, and, and in, a, in a split second, it, it's gone, and, and that's that's the unfortunate part. And that's you know, we see a lot of good and we do a lot of good um, through the daily operations, you know, firefighters, um, but there, there's this side of it. You know, and it's just something that, uh, that that our guys and all the guys out there, it's we you know it's part of the territory.